Hello, welcome back to the next section, learning to use retrofit by fetching financial data. In this section, we'll first make HTTP request, then we'll be transforming request data, and then we'll learn about regular updates. And finally, we'll be handling multiple records on the UI. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with setting the retrofit and making HTTP requests. In this video, we'll learn to set up necessary retrofit dependencies and configure retrofit interface objects to make simple HTTP GET requests. Before beginning, we'll first set up the retrofit. To do this, we first need to add the dependencies in the build.gradle file. This is the code we need to add. Here, the first line adds the core retrofit libraries to the project. This line makes the JSON converter factory class available, which is used internally by retrofit to pass JSON responses. The third line will expose a retrofit interface in Rx Java compatible way. The last line will configure the dependencies for the logging that will be used in retrofit. Now we're ready to start making HTTP requests with retrofit. Before we can start making requests, we need to build a retrofit object that will be used to create services. For this purpose, we've created a class called retrofit Yahoo service factory inside the JSON directory. Here we create a retrofit object and then service interface objects that will be used to make queries. Assume that in the end we want to query this URL. At first look, it may seem a bit too convoluted, but by taking everything apart, we'll show how Retrofit can help us make HTTP requests in this case. Service interfaces are the core things when working with Retrofit library. Basically, they let you define the structure and parameters of HTTP requests by putting metadata on a simple Java class interface. Let's create a Yahoo service file that we'll use to query financial stocks. This is the Yahoo service file which we have already created, and this is the corresponding code that we need to add in this file. From this code, we can say that there will be just a single object as a response of the Yahoo stock result type. Also, the first query parameter is format, and it's set to JSON. Here, the part of the path that will be queried is YQL. Here, two parameters are specified by the caller. Here, Q is specified the query, and ENV is specified by data source table. If we want to make the same request as mentioned, we would need to set a Q query like this. Also, ENV is to be set like this. All the encoding that's required for special symbols, such as slash and others, will be handled by retrofit during the execution. We'll now learn about service factory. For this, we've created a class named Retrofit Yahoo Service Factory. This is the public class for the service factory. Before we can make our first request, we'll need to prepare an interceptor that we'll use for logging. For this, we've used this code. It's advised to turn off logging for production applications to get better performance. In our case, especially while we're learning, it's crucial to have appropriate logging so that we can see what is actually going on. Afterward, the OK HTTP client that the retrofit will use can be prepared. This is the code for preparing OK HTTP client. The retrofit object will be constructed by calling this block of code. Here, a few things need our attention. The dot client sets the actual HTTP client that we'll be using. In this case, it's OK HTTP. By calling dot add call adapter factory and using Rx Java to call adapter factory, we integrate Rx Java compatibility into Retrofit library. The dot add converter factory call, along with JSON converter factory, adds support for JSON response passing into Java objects. Finally, we can set the root URL of our service that we'll be using with dot base URL. This part sets the last missing part of the URL that we took as an example. There are a few ways to choose base URL and the structure of Retrofit calls, but for the sake of simplicity, we'll leave it as it is here in the example. Finally, after we've initialized the retrofit object, we can create retrofit service objects. So we'll add this code at the end of this class. This call will take the interface that we created and turn it into a fully functioning object using a bit of Java reflection magic and proxies. Now we're ready to start making requests. We have intentionally skipped the code of the Yahoo stock result class and it will be covered later. When everything is put in place, this factory class will look as shown here. That's all in this video. Here we made HTTP requests.